In this video, you'll learn the basics of Algolia's ranking formula. It's our secret sauce to provide extremely relevant results with a final ranking that is very easy to understand. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of what a tie-breaking algorithm is and how it works. Tie-breaking is the action of determining a winner between two elements that are at first considered equals. An algorithm is a set of ordered tasks that process an input to perform operations on it and output a result. Put together, this gives us a set of ordered tasks that process elements to determine a hierarchy between them. So how does this work in practice? Let's take a visual analogy with Lego bricks. So I have a set of six Lego bricks and I want them ordered using a tie-breaking algorithm of three rules. Those rules are completely arbitrary for simplicity's sake of this example. The three simple rules are colors, shape, and the number of studs on the brick. Each of those rules have a defined set of preferences. Colors. Blue is better than red, and red is better than white. For shapes, rectangular shape is considered better than round. And finally, number of studs. Eight studs is considered the best, and the farther away we go from that number, the worst. A key point to remember here is the order in which the rules get applied. As we'll later see, this has a dramatic impact on the final ranking of the set. Here is my set of six bricks. It's a mix of 2x2 two two or 2x4, two rectangular or round shapes, coming in blue, white, or red. To use the tie-breaking algorithm, right after evaluating a set or a subset according to a rule, we need to ask ourselves one simple question. Do I have ties left? If not, then perfect. It means this element is now correctly ranked. If yes, then we need to go to the next rule to try and break the tie. Now let's sort this set of Lego bricks. We first evaluate and rank all bricks according to the first rule, colors. So that gives us three bricks from the preferred color blue, then one red, and finally two whites. To the question, do we have ties left? We can answer easily, we do, for the blues and for the whites. We'll first take care of the better ranked subset of blues and have them go through rule number two, shapes. That gives us two rectangular bricks and one round brick. Same as previously, we still have a tie for the blue rectangular bricks. So we need to evaluate them against rule number three, the number of studs. We have a 2x4, which gives us the best option with 8 studs, and a 2x2, ranked just below with only 4 studs. Along the way, we also have isolated the round blue brick. It ranks just below the two rectangular ones, and that tells us its final position, third. Going down the ranking, the red brick sits alone without a tie, in fourth position. Now moving to the last two white bricks. Having them go through rule number two, shapes, we now have a white rectangular brick ranking higher than the white round brick. And boom, ranking done, no more ties. I mentioned earlier that the order of the rules had a huge impact on the final ranking of elements. So let's see that in action, and to illustrate it, I'll only switch position of two rules like so. Shapes, then colors, then the number of studs. And please note that the inner set of preferences at the rule level hasn't changed at all. Only the order of the rules themselves. So we grab the exact same starting set of Lego bricks. And here comes the results. As we can see, it is pretty different. To sum it up, in this video, we've covered the basics of the tie-breaking algorithm a set of ordered rules whose unique purpose is to sort elements.